Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of January the 15th to January the 22nd. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a private Reiki session with me. See you soon Aquarius. We start our week on Monday, my friend, with the night of air. And air cards have to do with dealing with making fair and just choices and decisions that are often determined by people around us and uh, their motives and what they have involved in this uh, situation that you have to make these choices and decisions. But it also has to do with the legal system. Some of you may be dealing with legal issues that uh, you know, are involving lawyers and attorneys and things. I do see things happening very quickly for some of you and, and these events are going to be coming in with great speed. When they do, you're going to have to act on them ASAP, but what the, they want you to do is make sure you take time to carefully review all your options. Make sure you know what's going on behind the scenes. There's no secrets going on uh, that you need to be made aware of before you, make, uh, you, before you deal with this event that's coming in. On Tuesday, you've been given the Four of Air, again, another Air card. And this shows me that, you know, you know, some of you have been dealing with a lot of stress when it has to do with dealing with uh, injustice and making choices and decisions and perhaps legal issues again, that you need to take a vacation. For some of you, it is the right time. And for some of you, it's not. You may not have the time, effort, or resources to do that. But for some of you, I do advise that it is the right time if you have the resources to take a holiday to recoup, to rejuvenate, to heal yourself through this so that you've got enough energy to deal with these situations. So please um, sit back and realize again, like the night of air, there may be things going on behind the scenes that you're not sure of and you need to allow more time before making this major decision. So recoup, rejuvenate and do that. For those of you who can't actually take this physical vacation, Often what we can do is meditate and take ourselves to that place in our own mind in the silence and go there and think about everything. Think about everything and also clear your mind of the other things involved. Often when we go to, to meditation and we can clear our minds, be at peace with one and then we often get the answers to our major questions. It's also a way of rejuvenation. It's a way of settling down and, and settling all our issues emotionally and spiritually so that we can deal with any of these things coming down the path that are stressful, that are challenging. Middle of the week Aquarius, you've been given the seven of earth <clears throat> and earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and often that has to do with our jobs, careers and our professions, how we bring that currency and abundance in. But it is the earth card, some of you may be dealing with uh, nature and the ecosystem Others, it has to do with your family life, which is, you know, your immediate family, your closest circle, or people that you feel you can bring into that circle as family. This shows me that you, some of you put in an idea, a proposal, a proposition, uh, some of you could have been at work, some of you, you may be dealing with personal issues within your family circle, some of you, um, you know, it, it, it may just be an organization that you're involved in and you're wondering, you're wondering, you're sitting there, you're worrying about, geez, I, I put this out there, it's been a while now, I'm wondering how they received it, how they're going to um, respond to it, stop worrying because they tell me your seeds were planted well, the, whatever you put out there uh, was a good idea and was good information and so don't be worried about it because you've planted those seeds well and you don't need to be worrying about it while you're waiting. I know you're waiting and you're wondering what, what's going on. <clears throat> Great card though for Thursday. You've been given the world and the world is all about everything that you've been doing up to this point. You need to pat yourself on the back for it. It's like the job well done. It's that card that says, you know, um, 
it's perfection and you've made accomplishments and you need to commend yourself for all the hard work you've been doing. It's about joy and contentment and gratitude now for everything that you've been applying yourself to. It's a path of enlightenment for some of you. I can see it in, a, in the freedom of a job well done. So the world is like you've got the world in the palm of your hands, my friends. So all the work that you've been doing and you've been applying yourself into and giving so much of yourself to, now you're going to start seeing and reaping the benefits of all that time and effort that you've been putting into it. On Friday, the end of the week, the end of the work week, you've been given the nine of water. <clears throat> and water cards are relationship cards. And they can have to do with uh, intimate relationships and sometimes not. But this particular card, the nine of water, is the ultimate romance card. So those of you that are in a relationship right now, please know that it is a long-standing lifetime relationship. And your concerns now are going to fade away. All those concerns and worries that you've been having about, am I going to meet the right person? Is Will I meet my soulmate and my life mate? Is this going to be the one that I'm going to meet? Well, yes. For some of you, you've just met this individual. And for others, you've been in a relationship. So you pretty much know you've asked, actually been asked to get married. And now you know you're on that path for a life mate. I don't want you to worry about anything. The nine of water, when people are asking me relationship questions and it pops up and they say, well, you know, is this the one or is he or she going to agree to get married to me? Blah, blah, blah. This card shows up. It's a definite big yes. <clears throat> On Saturday, starting your weekend, you've been given the five of fire. Fire cards have to do with our own personal self-development. And they have to do with sometimes taking risks and going places we normally wouldn't do or go. So this is about, <clears throat> you know, having to deal with a challenging situation on Saturday. Or it could be a residual that's overflowed into the weekend with someone. They're going to come up to you and, you know, it's like that being poke, 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 poke. And finally you're going to turn around and face them and say, you know what, we need to deal with this situation. The reason they're doing this is, you know, some of the people I see, are, they're out for your job. They're out for something that you've got that they like. Perhaps it's the same goal, okay? And they talk about this being, uh, you know, about competing goals, someone having the same goals as you. And they're going to make you have to deal with some bothersome details. So uh, <clears throat> pick your battles wisely, okay? Because I do see a little bit of an irritating conflict coming up with this individual or individuals that are around you that are pushing you uh, right now, please pick your battles wisely to deal with this. But you need to keep in mind the reason they're doing this is because they have the same goals as you, or they want your job, or they want what you have. Okay? Seven of Air. This is your third and final Air card that you've had in this reading. And I do see, again, there's things going on behind the scenes that you need to find out about. <clears throat> so maybe you're dealing with a legal issue. Some of you, it can be, you know, a disbursement of property. It can be getting involved in a business. It can be, uh, you know, matrimonial where you're getting separated or divorced. And there's things that you need to find out, okay? Make sure all the paperwork's there before you step into that courtroom and have to deal with that, okay? Or mediation, whatever it is with your legal assistance. Uh, because there is more, go more going on in th this meeting, uh, you know, that you know about right now that meets the eye. I know some of you have been wanting to move forward with some plans now that this conclusion is coming into play with this issue, but they refer to it if you jump in too fast or move with these plans too quickly, they refer to it as poor timing if you don't find out what's going on behind the scenes. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle Ascended Master's card, and they gave you this, trust, okay? So obviously, you know, there's trust. Some people, it's trusting your own intuition and your own gut feelings. If there's a situation uh, in your life right now that you uh, are not sure of, you need to move forward and, and, and lay it out on the table. You know, write your pros and cons, the positive and the negatives of that situation, if it's a relationship why you're there, um, <clears throat> what you can do to improve how you feel with this trust issue. Uh, trusting other people. There may be someone in your life that you have a problem with um, dealing with trust issues. So the trust card came up. 
For some of you, I do see you have a reason for this. And for others, it's more of an insecurity within yourself that you need to deal with. You probably have had some situations in your life that have led you to this place right now with trust issues. <clears throat> I Again, I leave you with a quote today. And the quote I chose is, Some of the best lessons we learned are learned from past mistakes. The error of the past is the wisdom and the success for our future. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I stand in that circle of light for you, my friend. See you soon.